So in my last patent armor project, I was working with this stuff. Now this is 100% cotton, a very simple weave, and it's about one ounce material. I've gone ahead and I've ordered some duck cotton canvas. Basically this is three to four times as thick, so it's a tighter, closer together, more complex weave, and it's more similar to this stuff right here. Now, I may still use this as a backing material as it's more pleasant tactily. This stuff is very coarse. This would be uncomfortable on the skin. This is going to be fluff against matte. Um, I'm not going to fold it over exactly like this. This is going to be cut in half. But both the matte sides of each piece will be facing up. Another thing I'm doing here is I'm using a brush to fluff this out more. You might not be able to see a huge difference on camera. But if I fold this over and I fold the unfluffed portion over you can see a difference in thickness from fluffing it. Uh, a little more on the canvas I bought. This is meant as a painter's tarp. It's made in Pakistan. It's 100% cotton. It comes as 4 feet by 15 feet. But this will be on top of that. And use the thinner stuff as the backing. So that is going to be my layering. And hopefully this will get some better results. I am going to square this off, cut it, stitch it together, and I'm just going to skip to the result. And this is how it turned out. Definitely lighter than this stuff. It's not that much thinner from what I can tell. To give you a better idea, if I were to roll the edge here like that and put it right up next to this edge, backside doesn't look too much different than the front side, but you can tell just by feeling it which way it's supposed to go against the skin. You can tell that you want this rougher part more out. So hopefully in a couple days, in a day or so here, when we get some better weather and I have the good light, I'll be able to go outside and test this. If in the meantime, which is likely to happen considering when I ordered it, my grommeting kit comes, you might see a change to this wherein there will be holes across section and brass grommets in those holes. Because one thing that was also a concern of mine, and this is from having owned a couple of bite resistant snake gloves. Something that they make clear about those is they're not bite proof. Wherever needle has gone through and stitched the glove, is a section of the glove that is very weak because the integrity of the material has been weakened there. So it stands to reason for me that where we have cross sections like this, that is probably the weakest point. A hole that cuts out that intersection removes that weak period. And then the metal ring that's pressed around that hole should reinforce that. The other benefit I see of that potentially is that it will allow the whole thing to breathe. If that arrives in time for good enough weather to test this, those are going to go into here, most likely. And if not, it might just be tested as is, but it's just, it's shipping and good weather dependent. All right, have a good one.